Tonight we are going to read Bad Apple, A Tale of Friendship. I want to apologize for my videoing skills from time to time. I hope maybe you can just listen to the stories or follow along with your own book as we read when the image is that bad. Sorry. Like I said, I'm going to figure this out eventually, but for now I just want to tell you a story. It takes a strong core to stand up to bullies. Can you even focus on that? Not really. Okay, let's get on with this. Bad apple. Mac was a good apple. He shared his toys with other apples, helped Granny Smith pick up after art class, and loved to dive fearlessly into the watering hole. On a sunny day, Mac could bob for hours. On cloudy days, Mac would search for the perfect pillow of green grass and take a long nap. In his dreams, it was always sunny, but one day, as Mac lay sleeping, it began to rain. Soon all the little creatures in the earth around him poked their heads out to look for higher ground. Some of them found safety under the large toadstools, others crawled onto stones and pebbles, but one small worm had another idea. When Mac woke up, he was covered in raindrops and he wasn't alone. You won't believe the dream I just had. A funny little worm was tickling me right here. And now I can't seem to get him out of your head. It was you. And that's how Mac met Will. Will showed Mac how to fly a kite, fly himself, and play in the dirt. He loved making a mess. Mac took his new friend to the watering hole to clean off. He couldn't remember a better day. Until he took Will to the orchard. Look at Mac. He's got worms. Mac's a rotten apple. I'm not rotten. I'm quite sweet, actually. So they left. Will cheered Mac up by reading aloud from some of his favorite novels. He was a bit of a bookworm. Mac liked the adventure stories best. He also liked it when Will finished his sentences for him. That's a quote mm -hmm. But I don't really like this part. <laughs> yeah, it's a little different. The most exciting part you know, like is... that thing that connects you up to the ship? Yeah. That kind of looks like it. Uh huh. The most exciting part is when the pirates find treasure in the dirt. But the next day it happened again. Ha ha! It's the bad apple. Ew, worms. And not one, sorry, no one in the orchard would play with them. Not even the crab apples. Bad apple. Crab apples can be so mean. That night, the two friends sat alone on the grass without saying a word. In the morning, Will was nowhere to be found. What does that say? You are a good apple. Good job. He has a hole in his head. Uh-huh. Will. Who's that one? Will left him a note. Mm -hmm. Mac went back to play with his orchard friends diving fearlessly into the watering hole and painting in Granny Smith's class. But nothing was the same. Her nose is her stem. Uh-huh. There was a hole in Mac he couldn't fill. Not a big hole, just a teeny tiny little, you know, a small hole. Why does he always try to peek in? <laughs> I don't know, I never noticed that. Just big enough to fit 
and nobody finished his sentences. Mac had to find Will. He searched low and high and in between, in the dirt, around the watering hole, and just when he had given up all hope, he looked up in the sky. <coughs> Mac knew he'd rather be a bad apple with Will than a sad apple without him. I was hoping I could help me turn the pages how did you know because you will always be a good apple in my book good and happy and there's nothing oh bad about that that little guy is always hanging out i wonder why he wasn't friends with him anyway have you enjoyed this book there's another book by edward sorry by Edward Hemingway and there's another book by Edward Hemingway called Bump in the Night. Speaking of night, have a good one.